Mexico ran a freaking monopoly 1,000 people potatoes, but uh, it's one of the times. Look at all these weather. Crazy. All right, we're going off to Chinatown. She wants to show off her outfit, so um, not anymore. Because I guess I'm white not turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> fall, fall. Uh, what was it rustic fall puffer jackets? This is not a turtleneck. Tet. But the white under. You're wearing a turtleneck under. Cream. Tet. Not white. Okay. Let's try again. Cream <laughs> turtleneck. Tan vest. Fall pumpkin spice latte <laughs> puffer jackets. What else? Fur boots. Jeans. Okay. Now let's get on to the real outfit. Denim Guanas hat. Cream puffer. Cool shirt from Africa. Sweats. Trainers. Hi. Trainers. Okay, that's it. Yeah. It's my UK outfit. A little church right here that I showed you guys before. A little cool gate or whatever. And um, this, hold up. This pink flower one right there is my uncle's old restaurant. Used to be called Cafe Asian. And then this green one is my uncle's other old restaurant. It's called Jefferson. See, that's the church we were just at in the park. It's pretty nice. And then we've got some like random ass stores over here. If you keep going down this way, there's like the uh, pier or whatever. It's super nice. It's like a good day spot or whatever. Pretty cool scenery here. This is like a famous yeah. neighborhood. They got the triangle. What is that? Triangle intersection or whatever? Meow. This store always has cute pets. No. This is the. Uh, what? I can't get you. Dog? No. I can't take care of it. Yes. I told y'all, man. My uncle ran a freaking monopoly here. This is the same neighborhood, and this is my uncle's third restaurant. We're right here, Cornelia Street, next to the West Fourth Cages or whatever. Yeah. And this papaya dog or whatever shit. This is my uncle's old restaurant right here. He actually had two restaurants at this location. This one with the white on it. This is his old restaurant, Chop Chop. And it's pretty ironic because his restaurant was called Chomp Chomp. About it. Like I said, guys, Sweet Green is the monopoly of New York. If you ever see those uh, cardboard recyclable bowls, you know that someone did damage at Sweet Green and is getting some sweet potato kale bullshit. Look at this freaking park right here. This used to be a dangerous park where you get drunk if you're shooting around by yourself. Now you got people playing racquetball or a tennis ball over here, man. It's crazy. What is going on? The whole neighborhood is changing. New hit single, gentrification, <laughs> coming out. We finally got to our Eggs Benedict spot. Hopefully this uh, Benedict is good, or else uh, we're gonna have to Benedict them out of the- Oh my God, no. <laughs> that sounds not what you think it was gonna sound like. Well, yeah, this is the view. This is uh, near Soho. My friend used to have basketball practices around here, so we was just like Link or something. You know, there's like freaking 1,000 people in here. We in the spot right now. We just got our food. I think this was supposed to come with potatoes, but uh, maybe the guy lied to us. Some rosemary fries and the Jane burger with some caramelized onions, some cheese. You guys see it. But yeah, I'm about to get busy right now, right? Apparently this place is a zoo every single day because people were pent up in the house during COVID. They said there's like live performances every night, crackheads, drugs, whatever, here all the time. This is the muscle of the heart contracting. See how it squeezes in very well? The color, you see the valve has no leakage. Oh, I line cook, man. Need my chef hat. I would like to order something. I mean, complain. You're a waitress. You're a waitress. I would like to complain. You're a waitress. Chef. You have no right. The dishwasher? Yeah, I'm the line cook. I would like to place a complaint. <laughs> There's ain't nothing to complain about. You're an employee here, too. You have to run your tables right. Then you can complain. Well, maybe if you wash the dishes right. I wouldn't get my food returned to me because the plates are dirty. Huh? Clearly, it's been washed right. I'm Very like right. Dirt? No, they're clean perfectly nice. We're not quite done yet, but the tables with the name tags and whatever, and then outside, we're still working on it. We're going to Peter Luger's right now, Steakhouse. We've got the whole family in here. But everyone's daddy right now. Every time you see this shit, like the upstairs train, that usually means that you're not in the best neighborhood, like this shit right here. But yeah, we're running late. Our reservation's at like 8.15, and it's like 8.12. Man, we finally made it all the way over there. We made it, man. Look at all these ragged awards that they have. 
Michelin 2021. This place is not known for their service. And the guy just made a sarcastic joke at me. He said that, oh, you guys are nice and early when we were like six minutes late. We're finally here, their bread. This sauce is like barbecue sauce, but it tastes like cocktail sauce mixed with barbecue sauce. The bacon came, it's like that thick bacon. And look at this jambo shrimp. I don't really like shrimp like that. Proof that we're actually eating vegetables, man. Are yummy? Yes, sir. Fries and onion rings. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. Forgot to tell you guys they give you chocolate. Don't worry about it. Yo, this is crazy. You got the little pack man. Ill set up. It's wild, man. My friend's apartment or whatever. Oh, D. 40 minutes before Halloween. So, you know, all the goonies are out right now. So, we just got to be real careful. But. I'm telling y'all, when y'all take a oob ski or you sit in the car in New York, it's just different, man. Let me tell y'all one of the best, you know, driving experience I had in my life in New York. So I was in middle school. We were playing this school called Eagle Academy. I was in seventh or eighth grade. And it's the most hood school back then. And New York was way more dangerous back then when I used to live there. It was probably like 10 years ago, right? And so this school was hood. Like people would get jumped just for being in their neighborhood, just from being from a different school. Then there was me who was from a different school Chinese looked funny, looked weak to them. Literally, when we were taking the train there with my basketball team, we I was getting grilled, like not even from like hood rats, just like from anybody who was on the train, man. So after we played the game, of course we lost, you know what I'm saying? Good thing we lost, because if we won, there would have been a fight 100%. So yeah, they would have beat me up just for like fun or whatever. And so I begged my, my teammates' um, mom to drive me home. I was like, please, please take me home, please take me home because I didn't want to go on the ride back because literally all the kids were grilling me and like one of my friends from another school literally got jumped like a week ago. So it's like, please just take me home, take me home. And they finally took me home. Everyone was staring at me through the car like I was an alien or something like that. Shout out to Darius and his mom, man, real ones, man. Man, the Halloween costumes are definitely out. Look at that, I saw some guy who was a whisk. I've seen like vampire thoughts and freaking bunnies and cats. Lilo and Stitch. Yo, that's wild, man. But yeah, we send the Oopski about to get back home. That's the West Fourth Cage right there. That's where they have all the basketball games. I know this is relatable, but so many people go to parties and the party's whack. Then you're doing like the walk of shame outside. Leaving the party, and this is like the biggest walk of shame in the rain if you leave a whack party, you know what I'm saying? Then you're like scrambling to find another clan or a party. This neighborhood is real dangerous at night, especially around Halloween, because everybody drinks here, and then there's a bunch of parties here, and then people are crazy. I could flow on any beat, I'm a prodigy. My foot fell asleep on the gas, ain't no stopping me. Next tape dropping soon, got a lot of heat. Me and all my dogs at the leash, and we gotta eat. Yes, sir.